Thank you, Mr. Chairman. A um, couple, couple questions. Um, <clears throat> you mentioned that uh, the ABLE accounts, uh, although I didn't catch what you said was the impact on ABLE accounts. Uh, under uh, present law savers credit, Mr. Estes, uh, eligible, eligible savings uh, for which a taxpayer may claim the savers credit under present law are contributions into qualified retirement plans or IRAs. The uh, proposal before you in the uh, chairman's mark would say that a contribution into an ABLE account would also uh, make the taxpayer eligible for the savers credit. So it's an expansion of eligible savings vehicles. Does that also apply for college savings programs under the 529 provision? Uh, not, in, uh, not in the legislation before you, sir. Okay, uh, just bringing closure to one question. As, as uh, Mr. Arrington was asking several questions and they were, they were uh, tied around the mandates and what actually was required, but just make sure it's clear in my mind. So uh, an employer is mandated if they have five employees or more that make $5,000 or more, the employer is mandated to pull out 6% of their income and put it into some qualified retirement account, whether they create it themselves or use somewhere else. Let, let, let me refine your, uh, your summary in two ways. It's uh, six employers or more. If you're five or less, you're out. Uh, they're required to establish a plan or facilitate an auto-enrollment plan. The default that the, the default contribution of the employee for this elective salary reduction begins at 6%, but it is elective to the employee. The, uh, among the notice uh, requirements uh, under the legislation, the employer has to tell the employee, here's what we've got going on, here's what the, uh, here's what the def automatic default contribution from your salary will be, and the employee can affirmatively say, no, I do not want to do that. C correct. The employee can opt out. However, the employer is mandated to start that process, and if the employee doesn't opt out, that is a mandate on the employer. It, it, that, that's correct, sir. All right, thank you.